So what are the advantages of negative feedback? Compare the four different types of feedback with neat diagram. So you have two parts in this question. Okay, let us go to the first part. What are the advantages of negative feedback? So you can write uh, five to six points. So first point is it has high input impedance. High input impedance and low output impedance. low output impedance then you have better stabilized voltage gain stabilized voltage gain and next important thing is reduced noise improved frequency response frequency response and more linear operation more linear operation okay so these are the points which you can write as the answer for part a now moving on to the uh, second part that is compare the four different types of feedback okay so what are the four different types of feedback so based on the feedback connection and based on the parameters whether it is a voltage or a current feedback you can classify the feedback into four types they are voltage series feedback second one voltage shunt feedback third one current series feedback and fourth one current shunt feedback okay so now before going on to the block diagram we should understand the main uh, general diagram of a feedback amplifier let me take this as input and this as output you will be having an open loop gain of an amplifier and the feedback gain as beta okay open loop gain is taken as a now portion of the output will be fed back to the input okay so in the input side you will since the it is negative feedback here it will be plus and minus so this is called as a mixer circuit and in the output it is called as a sampler or sampling circuit okay so if i take for example what what may be the two parameters in the input side the input parameter will be let me write it here the input parameter can be either voltage or either it can be current similarly the output parameter can also be either voltage or either current okay so you have to remember one important thing if the input is voltage it will be a series connection and if the input is current it will be a shunt connection opposite will be in the output side if it is a voltage in the output side then it will be a shunt connection and if it is a current in the output side it is going to be a series connection okay so in this case let me take an example as voltage source voltage is vs amplifier voltage is vi your feedback voltage is vf and the output voltage is taken as v naught then what will be your vi vi will be equal to it since it's a negative feedback vs minus vf vs minus vf okay so these are the basic things you have to understand now we'll go for the block diagram we'll compare the four different types of uh, feedback topologies so now let me make a table so your first type is going to be a voltage series okay second type is going to be a voltage shunt shunt means it is parallel connection and next one is going to be a current series and the last one is going to be a current shunt okay current shunt connection now you have different names for these types say for example voltage series so based on the feedback connection it is called as series and what parameter is used as feedback voltage is used as feedback so that's the reason why you have voltage and series so this represents the output and this represents the input similarly here it is output and this represents the input okay current represents the output and series represents the input current represents the output 
shunt represents the input so in this case we have we can write it as another name also voltage series feedback is also called as what will be your uh, output is voltage okay so let me write it in different input and output so you know that output is voltage right we have got output is voltage now input is series connection so i have told you in the previous slide if the input is series connection what will be the parameter it will be voltage so you have both input and output as voltage right so if input is voltage what is the connection you have same series connection so it can also be called as series output is voltage if output is voltage what is the connection shunt so it is also called as series shunt connection okay this is the other name so first name is voltage series second name is it is also called as series shunt connection and you know the both the parameters are voltage so it is also used as an voltage amplifier okay these are the different names of your uh, feedback first topology now can we uh, uh, write the second one so second one you know that let me write it once again input and output so output you already know it is voltage which is given voltage shunt your input is shunt connection means what will be your input input will be shunt means it is going to be a current right so based on this you can write what will be the connection based on input and output you have the other name it is called as shunt output is voltage so it is called as shunt shunt connection right if the output is voltage it is called as it comes under the category of shunt connection so so it is shunt shunt connection and you know that input is current and output is voltage so your gain here in this case which is equal to output divided by input v by i so if it is v by i it is also called as it is used for as a trans resistance amplifier right v by i trans resistance amplifier okay so you know you have got first name second name third name can you write for the third type current series okay current is your output so let me write input and output once again current is your output current is your output what is your input input is series connection so it is series connection means the parameter will be voltage so you will be having if the input is voltage it will be series and output is current means it is also called as series connection right so i can write that it is a series series connection and your gain will be equal to output divided by input so i divided by v so it can also be called or it can be used as a transconductance amplifier transconductance amplifier okay and the last one is current shunt so what will be your input and what will be your output in this case output is equal to current which is given and your input is equal to shunt so what will be your uh, input if it is a shunt connection it is also going to be a current right so based on this you can write it is also called as shunt input is shunt and output is series right output is series so shunt series connection and uh, you know that gain is equal to output divided by input or you know divided by ii so it can also be called as a current amplifier okay so these are the three different names now can we go for the block diagram so in this first case voltage series amplifier the input is also voltage output is also voltage so what will be your gain g not is equal to v not divided by vi so it is a voltage series connection input is series connection output is shunt connection right if it is the if the output is voltage it is a shunt connection so first you have to give shunt connection it is means it's a parallel connection so beta so you will be getting output will be shunt connection okay input is series right input is voltage so input will be series connection so you will be having the voltage source bs is going to be a series connection so what will be the voltage here 
input to the amplifier is Vi. What will be the voltage here? So a portion of the output. So the volt, uh, output voltage is equal to V0. Same V0 will be giving as input here. In this case, input and this is output. In the case of feedback, it is ULTA. So same, this becomes input and this becomes output, right? So what is your beta? Beta is also gain. Gain is equal to output divided by input. In this case, what is your input? Same V0 will be becoming the input. And since here it is voltage, so I am taking it as feedback voltage Vf. So what will be this voltage? It is equal to Vf. So what will be Vf? Vf is equal to beta into V0, right? Simple. So this is how you have to draw the diagram and you have to give one more gain with feedback and gain without feedback. You know, gain without feedback is equal to same. V0 divided by Vi. So what will be your gain with feedback output divided by the overall input that is your source input Vs. Okay. Now going for the second case voltage shunt feedback. So what is your uh, input? Input is equal to shunt and output is equal to voltage. So you know that if the output is equal to voltage it will be shunt connection. Okay. So this is going to be your beta and it is going to be a shunt connection plus minus so this is rl plus minus it is equal to v naught okay so input is going to be a shunt connection so shunt connection means it is going to be a current okay so current source current source is this is also going to be a shunt connection so you will be having parallel connection Okay, so what will be the current? The current going towards amplifier will be IA. The current of the feedback current is equal to IF. So what will be your A? A is equal to output divided by input. Output is equal to V0. Input is equal to I, I, right? I, I. Input to the amplifier is equal to I, I. So A is equal to V0 divided by I, I. Okay, now what will be your beta? portion of the output is fed back as input. So now this becomes your input and this becomes your output. So V0 will be your input. What will be your output? Beta is equal to output divided by input. In this case, the output is equal to current. So it is taken as IF. Okay. So what will be your IF? IF will be equal to beta into V0. So what will be your gain with feedback? Gain with feedback is equal to output divided by overall input, right? So it will be equal to V0 divided by instead of I, I, here it will be IS. Okay, hope so you are understanding. Now the next one is your current series. So, okay, now the output is your current. If output is the current, what will be your connection? It will be a series connection, okay? So your output is current, so it is going to be a series connection. Okay, so this is beta. It is going to be a series connection. So it is your RL output is current. So it is I0. So same I0 will be given as feedback as input to the amplifier. So what is your input? Input is series. Series means what is the parameter? It is your voltage, right? So you will be having a voltage source here also it is series connection what is the other name it is called a series series so here it will be plus minus you will be having your source voltage vs what will be the voltage across the amplifier vi what will be the voltage across the feedback it is taken as vf so what will be your a a is equal to output divided by input output in this case is equal to i naught right output i naught divided by vi so a is equal to i naught divided by vi okay right so what will be a beta now this becomes the input this becomes the output so beta will be equal to input is equal to same current i naught so i naught what will be your output output is taken as vf so beta will be equal to sorry vf will be equal to beta into i naught so this vf will be equal to beta into v naught what will be your gain with feedback? Gain with feedback is equal to output divided by instead of VI, it is going to be VS. Okay. Now the last one is current shunt feedback. So what is your current shunt feedback? Output is current, you know. 
so a again if output is current it is going to be a series connection so output side is going to be a series connection rn and here it is going to be a beta okay so the output current is equal to i naught so a is equal to output divided by so what is your input it is a shunt connection so input if it is shunt connection what is your input input is also going to be your current okay so this is your is and here it is going to be a shunt connection so here it is going to be a shunt connection so what will be the current towards the amplifier will be equal to ii the feedback current is equal to if so your output divided by a is equal to output divided by input input is equal to i naught divided by ii so a is equal to i naught divided by ii now what will be your beta beta will be equal to here the output is i naught so it becomes the input right so here it is input here it is output so i know and what will be your um, beta is equal to output divided by input so what is your output in this case it is current if so if will be equal to beta into i naught what will be your overall gain with feedback output divided by instead of i i it is going to be is okay so these are the different types of uh, feedback networks one is your voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt voltage series is also called a series shunt feedback or voltage amplifier voltage shunt feedback is also called a shunt shunt feedback or trans resistance amplifier current series feedback is also called a series series feedback and it is also called as trans conductance amplifier and current shunt feedback is having the name as shunt series feedback and it is used as a current amplifier okay